Hi everybody. I got a question from Mango Coco. She has a two and a half year old boy. He sleeps on his own in the crib. No problem. However, he insists on having her stay there and be with him until he nods off to sleep. So she doesn't have an issue with having her baby still be in her bed while not wanting him to still be in her bed, but yet he refuses to go to sleep on his own. And her question is, what can I do to wean my child from this habit? So mango, and I love your name, and by the way, I love mangoes, and coconut is my favorite flavor of ice cream and anything else, so great name, and I love it. You basically are experiencing a form of sleep training. This isn't about not co-sleeping with your baby when you no longer feel that that's what you wanna do, but basically this is a form of sleep training because you have to break your child of a habit that has become very ingrained and you want your child to have a more independent sleep routine. The first thing I would do would be to make sure his bed is as warm, welcoming, and social type of environment as you can muster up. A mobile, a cool poster on the wall, you know, your baby's beyond the sort of SIDS risk age, so stuffed animals, you know, friendly types of creatures that he really likes, his buddies. Make going to bed his time to like hang out with his buddies in his cool crib where there's a lot of, you know, fun and interesting stuff going on. And try not to have your child be in his bed, you know, other than for naps and whatever. Don't make it the place where he plays because you want him to associate the bed with going to sleep. One thing your child might be doing is trying to have a bonding time with you that he's not otherwise finding during the day. So it could be that his time with mommy, his bonding time, is when he goes to sleep. And he's with mommy by having mommy stay there while he goes to sleep. Well, what about if you come in earlier into the scene? And you bond with your child by having your child on your lap, reading to your child, which is so important. We all want to try to read to our kids at least 20 minutes a day or as much as we can, talking to your child, interacting to your child, and that's part of the sleep ritual. So you say, you know, we finished dinner, we did our bath, our teeth are brushed, now we're going to have, you know, the mommy time, we're going to read, and if you're a very, very good boy, and you go right to bed on time, you know, on your own, I'm going to let you have another special book and you sort of work that whole thing into it, all the while anticipating, you know, saying, okay, this is the last book, and after that, we're going to bed. So that your child is used to the idea that he's got this great time with mommy, and then he's got this time when he's gonna be going into his own bed. Now, you can negotiate a bit. I mean, this doesn't have to be like house of cards, but you can work things out with your kids. I tried this quite a bit. And so after the last book, I'm, and they're still saying, no, no, I said, okay, Let's make a deal. I'm gonna read you one more book, and if you're really, really good, and you go right to bed, you know, then that's gonna work for me. And then you read that one last book, and hopefully at that point, they feel they sort of won something, and they've even gained a little more time with you, and then they're happy to head off to bed. The main idea is to give your child a lot of love, a lot of bonding time, time with mom that he knows he can count on, so he feels secure, and so that bedtime isn't a scary thing for him. Now. I have another ritual I've done with my kids. They each get these two songs. Um, I'm not gonna sing them for you guys because they're kind of silly and they're really personal. They're very short, but these kids, you know, uh, even the older ones really love their two songs. And I have sung these songs to them, you know, for their whole life. So oftentimes I just really can't go to the bed, they get them to go to bed unless they've had their two songs. And so even if I haven't had a lot of time to read or hang out with them, Singing these songs is sort of part of their ritual and it's kind of worked for us, so try that one as well. I hope these tips have been helpful. Best of luck getting your child to go to bed on his own. Let me know how it goes and thank you so much for writing into Cloud Mom.